A very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls who are attending this particular webinar. A very warm welcome to all of you. I am Pratapta, your host for the day. And I hope you all are excited for the webinar as I am. It's now time to introduce the special guest of the day. First, I would like to introduce Dr. Pavitar Prakash Singh. He is a professor and dean, School of Liberal and Creative Arts, Social Sciences and Languages. He is an author, professor, administrator who has worked on several books, research papers, patents, copyright with 28 plus years of industry experience. For his excellent contribution, he has also been honored with Manufacturing Association Paridabad Award 2014 by Honorable Government of Haryana and Bharat Vidya Ceremony Award 2011 from India Solidarity Council, New Delhi. He has also visited Tanzania, Sri Lanka and Pakistan from academic and research purposes. He is a member and chairman of various book boards and committees. He is a regular speaker uh, on various workshops and platforms. And the list goes on and on and it would be an honor to listen to him i would also like to welcome dr neelam sharma she is a professor deputy dean lovely professional university she is a doctorate from punjab university chandigarh madam also holds a diploma in yoga as well she has participated in football at national level she has presented eight papers in various conferences she has also published nine papers in various journals and again the list goes and on and I would also like to welcome Mr. Pankaj Vij uh, he is a head department of tie-ups division of admissions lovely professional university he holds a master's degree in management things over to Dr. Pavitar uh, so he can hand over but before we start I would also want Prapita you are not audible over to you sir okay thank you there is a some kind of a, a technological maybe I do not know from here or there. Some okay. kind of a buffering is there. So allow us if we are losing our contact, we'll again contact you. We'll connect connect back immediately. Thank you, Rapita. Uh, I welcome again uh, Dr. Neelam and uh, uh, the person from admissions, Pankaji, and uh, a very nice introduction, Rapita, of all of us you have given. Uh, thank you. We'll love, live up to. We'll try to live up to the expectations. Audience, today we are over here to discuss something about uh, the careers. Uh, normally, whatever is the outcome of education, we always try to look in for some kind of a uh, job um, out of it. Whatever knowledge we gain through any kind of a education system, any kind of a program, the ultimate aim is to get a job. So today we'll try to focus something on physical education and sports that uh, what are the different kind of careers in physical education and sports. Basically, we are providing four or five courses over here, programs over here, uh, which are under the preview of NCT, uh, National Council of Technical Education and U UGC. We are starting from UG courses to PhD and we'll try to throw some kind of a light on uh, what kind of uh, job prospects are there in various courses or what are the opportunities uh, in various uh, fields of physical education and uh, sports. I have along with me uh, Dr. Neelam who heads the School of uh, Physical Education and uh, we have been seeing she is a very good athlete by herself also. Well, uh, you were in sports, uh, Prapita, because I feel the audience will be a mix of uh, Hindi also will try to stick to only yes, yes, sure, we can sir. mix. You, yes, sir. Yes. 
will try to mix english with hindi or only right, right. English. you can use english and hindi ha ah, because students will be like like that you know so right. neelam ma'am uh, which sports you were associated with i was associated with football sir i have played uh, football up to national level football so, uh, up to national level yes. and you have done a uh, program in uh, physical education yeah. and i just did my uh, masters in uh, physical education then after that phd uh, uh, in physical education then i got so this means the scope of uh, career is already there yeah. that in sports you can be there and suddenly you can have a career in physical, physical. education also and uh, let's move to some kind of introduction physical education uh, normally we consider a physical education is some kind of a program or a course when it is given in a single entity it is called a course when it is given into a legal entity it is called a program when it's a mix of many a thing uh, physical education basically it uh, enhances your physical fitness it started with that we must do some kind of a sports activity like in our schools we always have a games period and games period we were always uh, uh, seeing that uh, there was a dpi there was a teacher there was a sports teacher who was taking care of all the sports over there and the basic purpose of that particular person was to enhance our physical fitness that we we must be strong we must be resilient we must be agile uh our motor skills should be very good our cognitive skills or mental ability uh, should be very active uh, we always say uh, all work and no play makes the gel uh, makes uh, the jack a dull boy uh, so that's how we know physical education but is iske ilawa bhi physical education bahut kuch hai jaise physical education is spiritual physical mental emotional it gives us uh support for all of these it gives us support from spiritual also when we uh, do yoga yeah. so uh, uh, it helps us yeah it it, it helps spirituality. us to develop our spiritual fitness also. spiritual fitness yeah. also because it it covers our emotions you know yeah. so emotions is related with the spiritual fitness yeah. so it it will work on that also so physical fitness is not only running it yeah. is also spiritual yeah. and how it is related to social Uh, social because uh, uh, actually this activity is social. Social. So there is you know activities which has to be done in group. And even if you uh, will talk about the football, football is a game where we all are playing. Mm. And so we all are playing, and we are playing different different roles. In different our, roles. Uh, roles in our. So team. someone is leader, yeah, someone is back, and someone is full back. Right. Great. So everybody is playing on one platform with different roles. so that's why that's on the on the ground but yeah. once off the ground again you are staying together so you are yeah. a well lived family otherwise we are we also visit to many places for game playing games yeah. so they when we are visiting there we are we are learning new cultures over there new traditions over there which enhance our uh, social fitness also. great so that way all physical education not only cover the physical fitness motor or cognitive skills as is is written it is also something talking about the spiritual social mental and emotional kind of a thing so let's move straight to the this is all about physical education program let's move again uh, straight to the job opportunities we have tried to separate out only two slides because we need more of discussion over it that's how we are planning it these are the physical these are the basic uh, what we say uh, traditional careers in over 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 in india like uh, you can be a teacher starting from assistant professor at the top you can be assistant director into a government job kind of a thing you can be a physical teacher in india or physical teacher in abroad um, like uh, all the middle eastern countries they give huge opportunity for the indians to be adopted over there because of the nearness of the culture and the language because we speak um, Uh, urdu or hindi uh, hindi over here and they speak uh, urdu more of uh, the both of these languages are very near to each other and then we have competitive sports also like uh, uh, ma'am is saying that she moved in from uh, from games to education there are examples people who have moved in from education to games also 
and uh, then there is a fitness uh, trainer when we go to a gym when we go to a yoga center when we go to any kind of a fitness center we often see a trainer in over there and we have seen these trainers are paid huge huge money kind of uh, thing like i was uh, i was just uh, glancing through social media i do not know whether the fact is right or not um, the movie of animal uh, where uh, there was a body shown of uh, bobby deol bef before animal and after animal and some trainer has worked on it and it is told that he was paid 1 crore rupee of uh, money to uh, convert that kind of a lean body of bobby deol not lean but not that kind of a attractive body muscle full fat full body that he used in um, animal so these all were the traditional kind of uh, uh, opportunities for the job uh, have i missed out any traditional no, jobs please, i think no all uh, all these we have almost all the all the jobs job and the same way in the in the uh, new careers that is the basic thing we have the sports journalist like samir rajguru is there harsha bhogle is there then we have sports analyst we see people sitting um, in uh, during the premier league sitting on the match day uh, when the match is of 2 hours the analysis is of 4 hours so they analyze each and every aspect of that game how the person is running which uh, wicket he moved in which ball he seemed in which kind of a field he hit uh, his ball from which corner he hits his ball from uh, all the analysis uh, done is through done through sports analyst analyst then there are sports nutrition that a, a healthy mind resides in a healthy body uh, we often see the athletes are not in the lean kind of a shape they are into a good good body they are always uh, Uh, very agile, very active, and a balanced body kind of a thing. So nutrition, nutritionist, uh, nutritionist uh, job comes in over there. Then there are biomechanics people who work on your motor skill, motor skills, or some other kind of a thing. Then there are sports administrator who takes care of administration of various uh, sports agencies in the better way. They are officiating some kind of a thing. they are making into making the rules they are checking out the rules and regulations uh, like we have the match referees or var which was introduced few few years back couple of years back video uh, video assisted referrals there are var referees in, in 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 football also then we have a physical education program and director kind of a thing then defensive jobs kind of a um, uh what we say uh, where the uh, uh body defense works into act or or physical educationists are going into the defense job so rather than defensive job it should be defense job so these are the two kind of a uh, peripheries if you try to see one is the traditional job second one is the uh, uh, uh this particular uh, uh, new careers job so i like to invite uh, dr neelam into this discussion uh, ma'am we we often see li like these are the certain uh, traditional jobs uh, what are the kind of skills uh, these require mainly sir you may take one example or you may talk for a whole jobs you know main skills which are required are their communication skills sir then in organization skill because we used to organize many events during our career mm -hmm. so organization skills are also required then uh, strong background of course you know if you have a strong background of course then only you can teach very right very so then the another option is their extra certifications like uh, students uh, who want to enroll or who are interested to enroll in this course they we promote them for extra certification like in zumba or uh, there are many federations who provide certification for coach de licensing de licensing type of certification c license in football mm. major the then there is a licensing also mm. so then uh, we prefer for uh, extra certification of yoga aerobics like this so these are the main skill which are required one day you are talking about uh... the communication second yeah. you are talking about, uh, the, about the organization, organization. and third one is the sports related yeah. kind of or you can say that the technical skill which comes uh, with the technical skill mm -hmm. 
So these are the problems. So how are we providing the uh, the communication skills? What uh, is a physical? Look, physical education का जो भी student होता है ना sports वाला है normally इसमें हम बात मानकर चले उनका थोड़ा सा English में हाथ तंग होता है या communication में they are introverted because वो अपने अंदर बहुत ज़्यादा लगे होते हैं अपने अपने ही पर ज़्यादा काम करते हैं तो how do we improve or how can we improve communication or added to it what are you doing in your school for it? Sir, actually uh... For physical education people, they have their own vocabulary. Right. Means they have their own terms. Right. So okay, these terms are different from normal, normal, normal. normal terms. Right. So they are very expert there in yes. their own terms, yes. in their own vocabulary. Yes. So when we are talking about the language, so here at Saint Louis, the three languages are uh, already we have given the uh, this uh, the choice, uh, choice of, of okay. three languages. They can write that is the, English, Hindi, and Punjabi. Also and because uh, our university is in Punjab. Okay. So we promote Punjabi also. So in this way, we are providing them a choice of three languages. So the next one is, uh, uh, certainly we are actively enhancing communication skills uh, through comprehensive parameters. And we are providing them the courses for communication skills. And uh, our intramural courses, uh, we have one course of intramural. Uh, which focus on refining the organizational level. Okay, the second point you are talking about, the organization. Where we are uh, providing them uh, opportunity to officiate for uh, event. Then uh, then they are learning, they are preparing each and everything for this success, to organize intramural. So starting event. from the idea of that uh, particular event mm -hmm. to the completion of that or the uh, pure event ko khatam karne tak ki unki zindavari. Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. Ye is se unki is organization se skills they are learning. So, do you send your children to the office or officiate the games? We are employees and uh, provide lots of opportunities to the students so that they can participate at national or international events. We have heard that your master games are very good. Yeah, we, we, these are the in-house events. In-house. In-house. Even our students used to organize cluster event of nearby areas. Achha. So uh, CVSC cluster event they used to organize national. Many of the students are um, so doing... whatever programs, sports events are happening in LPU. Uh, do your physical education uh, students also have a, a role to play? Can they go participate uh, as a officiate, learn or something? More, uh, you know, maximum students are participating in events. Okay. Maximum students who are participating for uh, uh, sports, they are make, they are from physical education. Maximum are from physical education. No, no, I am talking about officiating. Yeah, they uh, are officiating. So, LP we are officiating. LPU is also providing us opportunity to officiate in the officiate. event. So, from the university side, we are having that kind of opportunity. That uh, first of all, university is giving us a communication skill through the form of yeah. uh, courses or something like that. And uh, is debate also a uh, kind of a after class with debates, yeah, discussions, normal yes, routine? Sir. Yeah, it's a normal routine. When is it up morning assembly with two discussions? We can have a key after you ask the news, yeah, I could give us that else. Yes, in class also, in morning activity, activity. also. Uh, like uh, now they are working on football, now football event is going on. and we are promoting them and we are asking questions about the event. About so, this so we, we, we have an assembly in the morning. Assembly. In assembly, we used to discuss the current issues uh, in assembly. So, and the third point is that you have to do licensing or certification. Uh -huh. uh, we, we coordinate you know, with the uh, sports federation or we have one. Uh, uh, affiliation of uh, Ministry of uh, Ayush, okay. which provides certification in yoga. In this way, we have tie up with different organizations okay. so that our student can go for uh, extra certification. Good one. So, jo traditional job hai, unme jo skills chahiye, uh, three skills: communication, yeah. of jo aapki game ki organization hai, aur jo aapki skill background hai, kyunki uh, this is assumed that you are taking care of the basic subjects. But this ke lava bhi to groom them, yeah, you like... require these. And Neelam ma'am, isme can I ask something? Uh, uh, ek, how many events uh, a student participate, uh, sports event, during his physical education program? 
maybe but, if it is a three years program so minimum is three participation will be there at national or good national level or good level, level. और जो अगर आप वीकली करें तो आपके वीकली कोई ना कोई प्रोग्राम या इवेंट होता ही रहता है इंट्रा मूरल इज वीकली देन आप हॉस्टल में भी कुछ प्रोग्राम करते हैं वी ऑर्गेनाइज एनुअल एथलेटिक वीक अच्छा आपने अभी एनुअल एथलेटिक कांग्रेचुलेशन आपको उसमें शायद मार्च पास्ट का भी बेस्ट मिला और ओवरऑल ओवरऑल एंड फ्रॉम लास्ट मेनी इयर्स वी आर विनिंग दिस ओवरऑल ट्रॉफी पर आप पिछले साल दो साल से आप ऑर्गेनाइज भी खुद ही कर रहे हैं तो वो जो सेकंड वाला पॉइंट है कि जिसमें आप ऑर्गेनाइजेशन की बात कर रहे हैं तो वो खुद भी सीख रहे हैं गुड वन एंड ठीक है ये तो हो गया अब चलते हैं ये तो ट्रेडिशनल हो गई अब चलते हैं हम थोड़े से मॉडर्न uh, और न्यू करियर्स पे सो so, इसके लिए नीलम मैम किस तरह की आपको स्किल्स चाहिए ये न्यू वाले जो आपके कोर्सेज है अपॉर्चुनिटीज है इसके लिए आपको किस किस तरह की स्किल चाहिए व्हाट टाइप ऑफ स्किल्स आर रिक्वायर्ड इन दिस जो अगर आप ऑडियंस को कुछ बता पाए ओके सो स्किल्स इन एडिशन टू द एसेंशियल क्वालिफिकेशन वन नीड अ स्पेशलाइज्ड एक्सपर्टाइज इन न्यू फील्ड इफेक्टिव कम्युनिकेशन प्रोफाउंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ सब्जेक्ट एंड इफेक्टिव टेक्निकल स्किल्स सच एज फोटोग्राफी एंड वीडियोग्राफी इज Uh, essential for sports journalism wow. so for this we are teaching one course uh, of sports journalism Achha. and uh, uh, we used to make them expert they used to make their own video they used to upload this video on their social media page or they have asked maximum student have their own abhi i was there in your department i think uh, that was uh, this week only when you were in hardaspur ground yeah. so so a student was making a reel for her yeah. so that way round sport journalism reels videography photography Ab now she will upload it on her own own channel you yeah. some yeah. kind of a social media social platform media platform they have all the students have their own YouTube channel very और उसपे वो मतलब एक तरह देखा जाए तो ये Uh, एक एक्स्ट्रा करियर ही बता रहे हैं कि हाउ टू अर्न मनी बाय दी पैसेज ऑफ टाइम वो धीरे धीरे अर्न करना भी शुरू करेंगे दैट्स व्हाई दीस जॉब्स आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम नॉर्मल ट्रेडिशनल जॉब अदरवाइज स्टूडेंट यू टू ओनली वन ऑप्शन इज देयर यू नो टू बिकम अ बिकम अ फिजिकल एजुकेशन टीचर ट्रेनर ऑन समथिंग या बट नाउ वी आर फोकसिंग ऑन द न्यू एरिया वन वन कैन बिकम स्पोर्ट्स जर्नलिस्ट एंटरप्रेन्योर इवन एंड दिस स्पोर्ट्स एनालिस्ट इवन so so we are are focusing on those so, आप ने स्पोर्ट जर्नलिस्ट के बारे में बता दिया कि यू आर गिविंग सच काइंड ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटी लाइक ही इज यू आर टीचिंग दम वन कोर्स ऑन स्पोर्ट्स जर्नलिस्ट तो ऐसा ही आपका न्यूट्रिशियस एनालिस्ट या बायो मैकेनिक इसमें कैसे करते हैं वी आर फोकसिंग ऑन वी आर फॉर स्पोर्ट्स न्यूट्रिशियन वी आर आल्सो प्रोवाइडिंग वन कोर्स अच्छा दिस इज आल्सो अनदर कोर्स वी वी यूज टू perform workshop we used to organize workshop to become a sports analyst okay. we used to time to time uh, in 6 month we used to uh, perform one workshop so aap karwate rehte hain wo lagata yeah. aur ye nutrition ka bhi ek course chal raha hai aapka idhar wo aapke physical education ke teacher students ke liye must ha our student used to be uh, prepare diet chart Haan. all those things for sports for non sports for old age people for children wo aapne ek bar mera bhi yeah. aapka teacher se banaya ग्रेट so, तो ये स्पोर्ट्स एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन जो हमारा है उसके लिए आप किस तरह की कोई कोई तैयारी करवाते हैं स्पोर्ट्स एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन स्पोर्ट्स एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन का मतलब क्या हुआ नीलम जी हाउ टू एडमिनिस्टर द स्पोर्ट्स तो मतलब ये ऑफिशियली की बात हुई या कुछ और बात नो टू टू कोऑर्डिनेट विद डिफरेंट पीपल्स एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर सो दिस इज अ न्यू जॉब एक्चुअली now many private sectors people they are coming they are hiring mm. uh, students for this uh, job mm. uh, role of main this job is to handle the various events okay so this is how so mega event mega matlab aapne jo agar aap annual athletic day ko karenge to wo sports administrator ka role play kiya aapne sports administrator is, is sitting on a chair and handling all the activities wo aapne fir sports administrator yeah. ka role play kiya main wo samjhu yeah और इस तरह के तो हमारे बच्चे करते ही होंगे और ये जो फिजिकल एजुकेशन प्रोग्राम डायरेक्टर वगैरह है ये क्या है ये देर आर मेनी प्रोग्राम यू नो 
many private companies uh, they are uh, now coordinating with the schools mm -hmm. and uh, uh, providing them faci or facilitating them to for their event okay so this uh, uh, director he used to handle all those activities okay. so uh, sports administrator uh, administrator and this program director somehow they have similar similar type of job aur iske liye aapke jaise humne ye dono jobs kahe aur in dono jobs mein hamare paas if you try to see the traditional and in the modern uh, the role models are very important to कुछ लोगों के नाम ले सकते हो स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन के जो आए और हमारे स्टूडेंट्स के साथ डिफरेंट तरीके से इंटरेक्ट किया चाहे यूनिवर्सिटी लेवल पे चाहे हमारे डिपार्टमेंट में तभी उन्होंने इंटरेक्ट किया कौन कौन लोग आते स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन पर्सनैलिटी लाइक मेरे को याद है वो आपका हॉकी का कैप्टन है जो वो भी यहाँ पे और अभी आप एक कोई बॉक्सिंग के कौन सी वो लड़की हमारी एक लड़की है जो मंजूरा ने वो इंटरनेशनल बॉक्सिंग प्लेयर है और वो आती रहती है वो बच्चों के साथ इंटरेक्ट भी करती है तो इसी तरह आप बाकी फील्ड्स के बाकी स्पोर्ट्स के भी बच्चे लेकर जाते हैं एक्सपर्ट फ्रॉम वेरियस वेरियस सो नॉट ओनली स्पोर्ट्स बट आप सब तरह के मतलब आप जर्नलिस्ट को भी बुलाते हैं न्यूट्रिशन को न्यूट्रिशियस को भी बुलाते हैं कोई एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर को भी बुलाते हैं कोई टीचर को भी बुलाते हैं अच्छा नीलम मैम कुछ एक एक पिछली स्लाइड पे चलते हैं ए, हमारे यहाँ के ये वाला जो है यहाँ का हमारे हमारा कोई बच्चा फॉरेन में प्लेस हुआ होगा हमारे बहुत सारे बच्चे हैं जो अब्रॉड में भी अब्रॉड में प्लेस है और वो वहाँ जॉब कर रहे हैं और बहुत अच्छे स्कूल्स हैं फॉरेन में इवन इंडियन स्कूल भी है जिनमें वो जॉब करे गेटिंग एक और बताना चाहिए हमारा एक बच्चा जो जो अभी कमिंग ओलंपिक्स है उसकी मीडिया टीम का हिस्सा है तो वो आप अगले वाले स्लाइड की ये वाले स्लाइड की बात कर रहे हैं ये मीडिया टीम का हिस्सा मीडिया टीम और वो भी ओलंपिक्स का वो भी ओलंपिक्स वो भी ओलंपिक्स क्या बात है तो ये बहुत अच्छी थी ऐसे से हमारे बच्चे आपने लड्डू तो खिलाए नहीं मैडम इसको हमारा एक बच्चा है जो भी हेड ऑफ द नहीं आप फिर डाल के लड्डू खिला रहे हैं खिला रहे हैं नहीं कंफर्म इसके बारे में कंफर्म है तो आज लड्डू जी जी सर ठीक है और अभी हमारा एक बच्चा है सर जो हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट के एक स्कूल में अच्छा वर्क करा और रिसेंटली टू इयर्स बैक थ्री इयर्स बैक ही वो हमारे यहाँ का पास आउट स्टूडेंट है तो इसका मतलब है नीलम मैम जो अगर हम बात करें कि एक वक्त था जब हम ये ट्रेडिशनल जॉब की बात है वाज अ टाइम व्हेन वी फोकसिंग ऑनली ऑन दिस जॉब बट गॉन आर द टाइम यू आर टीचिंग देम टू बी अर्नलिस्ट टू बी अंटेंट राइटर टू बी अडियोग्राफ टू बी फोटोग्राफर टू बी एनालिस्ट टू बी न्यूट्रिशियस टू बी योगा ट्रेनर आल्सो एंड टू बी मैकेनिस्ट टू बी एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर बाय डूइंग ऑल दिस ग्रेट बाकी एरियाज में अब अपनी फसल को बढ़ा रहे हैं बड़ा और मैम हम जैसे व्हेन आई वाज डिस्कसिंग विद एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट उनके वहां टेट एग्जाम होता है तो आपके यहां भी आप कोई प्रिपरेशन करवाते हो गवर्नमेंट जॉब वगैरह के बच्चों हम बच्चों को हमारे कोर्सेज हैं जिसमें हम बी और मास्टर डिग्री के स्टूडेंट कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम की प्रेपरेशन करवा तो ना ही सिर्फ गवर्नमेंट बट कॉम्पिटेटिव बहुत भी रहो और इसका इतना अच्छा रिजल्ट आया है कि जितने भी बच्चे हमारे कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम में जैसे टेट में में जाते हैं सबके सब उसको क्वालिफाई क्वालिफाई सो मतलब टेट एग्जाम हमारे में बहुत सारे स्टेट में नहीं होता और बहुत सारे स्टेट कुछ स्टेट में होता हाँ, है तो पर जिन स्टेट्स में है और जिन स्टेट्स के बच्चों जैसे पंजाब में था एमपी में था बिहार में था तो इनमें जिन बच्चों ने अपीयर किया इस टेट एग्जाम सब ने क्वालिफाई तो मृपिता दिस इज फ्रॉम आवर साइड वी वर सपोज टू डिस्कस थ्रो सम लाइट ऑन की हाउ फिजिकल एजुकेशन इन दर्लियर टाइम टेकन only as a physical activity but now uh, and the careers were aligned to only these three these things now we are moved toward a very liberal and a very uh, dynamic kind of a platform where such kind of a careers are available bripita now i request you to hand over the session to pankaj sir or any queries whenever uh, you feel like we are ready to take thank you so very much sir and ma'am it was wonderful watching you speak on so many things about sports 
and achievements and the careers that student might have in you know sports department that we even I personally did not know so much about sports and uh, you know that was a very insightful um, conversation between you two I must say uh, while Pankaj sir is not here with us there are few questions that we have received very from right, our attendees so we can cover that up right Please, Please, uh, okay there is this student uh, who there is a question just give me a moment yeah there are like three four five questions that we have received and one question is from a student named akash so this the question is what can i do after bachelor in physical education at lpu what are the career options though it has been already i think covered no, but no. then uh, still then there are two ways he can go after doing his graduation from here he can first of all opt for a uh, masters program mm -hmm. and uh, this is mpa or otherwise round when he does when he is doing bpa uh, he is having so many opportunities to crack government jobs, to crack so many other competitive exams, or definitely go into a allied line of sports and all these jobs which we have mentioned over here. These are open for him over here. So all the careers which we have mentioned in the earlier slide and this slide, if I am allowed to, this one and this one, these are open for him. We welcome him, but if he has a specific uh, kind of a query regarding a specific career, he can definitely speak to us or through you or someone else. We are, we, he's welcome to. Okay. I hope that answers your question. Uh, yes. Moving towards our next question, it is from an attendee name as Ramjeet. No, no, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. So the question is, uh, I think this uh, goes to ma'am. So it's like, ma'am, I have a sports certificate, but not a recent certificate. So am I capable of admission in BPED course, LPU? Uh, if he has a uh, basic qualification for BSc is uh, plus two or 12th class pass. Uh, but uh, I think he is interested in sports scholarship. So just uh, he has to send his certificate to us by May. Then we'll analyze his certificate and we'll provide him the answer. So the Vipata, the point which Dr. Neelam is saying, uh, the certificate is not the eligibility for admission. For admission, he can definitely take on the basis of plus two. But this four certificate, what he, what he is trying to say, uh, this will give him an extra scholarship which he may send to admissions which uh, may be validated by admissions or if you need or help we are always there uh, this may give him certain kind of a scholarship okay thank you i hope you uh, we cannot uh, we have to analyze it. we have to analyze the how much old it is we can definitely okay. we'll it. answer we'll yeah. answer Okay, thank you so much, sir. I, sir, ma'am. I hope Ramjeet that answer your questions. Uh, the another question that uh one of our students have asked is like, what are the benefits that student can have if they want to join physical education at LPU, and how is it different from other universities? Okay, so uh, you know uh. As we uh, we have given this presentation, we are not preparing you for one role of physical education teacher. We are preparing you for various roles. The next one is we are very particular about the classes. We provide you uh, the opportunity to participate in national or international right. matches. Right. Then we have a very good sports infrastructure. We have a indoor Project. stadium. We also provide uh, them with experiential learning. Our students used to learn, you know, uh, by doing, they, they learn by doing. And uh, then we have very well qualified teachers are there. So LPU can be compared in terms of jobs also. Our students who have enrolled for placement all have been placed till date. So in this way, this, I think, uh, and we, we are, our students are getting very good salary packages also. So uh, student can uh, compare this with other universities also. We can he can compare the infrastructure with other universities. We can compare the qualification of teachers with other universities. 
we can compare this uh, culture of lpu we have many students from outside india also we are not uh, and uh, we have students from all over india also so uh, this opportunity i think only lpu is providing so lpu is the best platform in this time uh, to learn and to explore him or herself well, thank you so much, ma'am. I hope that answers your question. Uh, now, I would like to request Mr. Pankaj Viz, again, an, a brief introduction ag about him. He's a head of tie-up divisions of admissions, lovely professional university. He holds a master's degree in management with a keen area of interest being training and development. He has over 18 plus years of experience in multiple domains and today he is going to talk about eligibility scholarship fee structure and infrastructure or any other queries that you have regarding admissions so over to you sir okay very well thank you can i get the rights for sharing the screen sir i think you already have the rights for this uh, for sharing the screen you can just go down there in share screen section. Okay, fine. I'm just sharing my screen. Just give me a moment, please. Right. Uh, Ma'am, I think the rights are not with me. Can you can you give me the rights? Because the screen is already being displayed. Okay, so can you stop sharing? Uh, yeah. Ma'am, yeah. Now I have got the rights. Just give me a moment. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Is my screen visible, ma'am? Yes, sir. It is perfectly visible. You just need to expand the presentation. That yeah, you I'm have. doing that. Okay, perfect. Is it okay now? Yes, sir. Perfect, perfect. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So, uh, thank you very much. And uh, as uh, you have given my introduction, thanks a lot for that particular thing. I guess the experts would have explained uh, the entire thing pretty uh, in elaborate way. So my job is to tell you something about more about the infrastructure, about the admission, about the eligibilities and things like that. So for any university, any students who are, or the students or the parents who are watching this particular broadcast must be very much interested into uh, as to what they can expect when they come to the university. So this is what you can expect when you come to the university. First thing or the first thing first, Accreditations and approvals are of prime importance. Accreditations, approvals are of prime importance for any university. So whenever you join a university, uh, students, parents, please watch out for the accreditations and approvals of that university. Allow me to tell you something about the accreditations and the approvals that we have got at LPU. We are NAC A++ University with a score of 3.68 on a scale of four, which makes us the highest score in the first cycle of accreditation amongst all government and the private universities. So we are an A++ university. Apart from that, we have got uh, other approvals. We have got approvals from the Accreditation Council of our Business Schools. This is for the MBA thing. We have got, we have got, uh, uh, we have got ICAR. We are approved by University Grants Commission of India, both for distance and regular programs. We have got approval from the National Council for Teacher Education, which is for the B.Ed. programs. We have got approvals from the Pharmacy Council of India, PCI, Council of Architecture, then uh, Bar Council of India for the law programs, Institute of Town Planners for the planning programs, Indian Association for Physiotherapists, uh, Punjab Chapter of uh, Punjab State Council for Agriculture Education. So these are the approvals and memberships that we have got. We are even the part of uh, the prestigious uh, Association of Indian Universities. Moving forward, these are our flag bearers when it comes to uh, placements. So we, these are our star placement uh, uh, flag bearers, uh, bagging packages as high as three crores, multiple lakhs, 64 lakhs with the, the likes of Google, the likes of Amazon, and so on and so forth. So these, these are our flag bearers. This is the kind of uh, uh, placements that we provide our students or we facilitate the students with such kind of placements. This is the one crore club, people who have a package of one crore. Extracurricular activities, once again, a very, very important thing. Extracurricular activities, as we say that all work, no play makes Jack a dull boy. So extracurricular activities are an integral part of the education. And uh, here we go. These, this, these, this is what uh, has uh, borne flaws for us in uh, extracurricular activities. Recently held Kelo India University Games, we were, we were runner-ups. 
people like uh, Bajrang Punia, people like uh, Neera Chopra, people like Manpreet Singh, the captain of the Indian, former captain of the Indian hockey team, they are all our students. The year was uh, 2019 and we hosted the 106th edition of the Indian Science Congress, which was inaugurated by none other than the Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi. And uh, uh, these kind of uh, intellects also throng the university and they uh, distribute degrees to the students in convocation ceremonies. One of the prime example is His Holiness the Dalai Lama was here a few years back in one of the convocation ceremony ceremonies giving away degrees to the students. Two former presidents of India and Afghanistan, uh, Sri Pranam Mukherjee and Sri Hamid Karzai sharing the single stage and giving away degrees to the students a few years back. Late Sri Arun Jaitliji, who was here, the Union Finance Minister of India, then Union Finance Minister of India, uh, was here and he inaugurated a startup school. So this is the kind of exposure we believe in giving to the students. Former Vice President of India, Sri Venkaiya Naiduji, was here and uh, in 2018 and he was giving away degrees in one of the convocation ceremonies. Gohar Gopal Das, a few years back, was here giving away life sermons to the students, to the parents, to the teachers and so on and so forth. Yes, uh, the, the, the real heroes who are the real life heroes of our young generation, they also come to the campus not only to sing and dance, but also to interact with the students and uh, uh, share their experience, life experience with all of them. So this is the kind of exposure that we believe in giving the students. Well, another aspect of education is uh, the infrastructure. And uh, we boast a marvelous infrastructure that we have got. One of the prime examples you're seeing on your screen right now, it's, it's, it's a beauty of a building with 14 blocks joined back to back, houses the central library and quite a few other departments of the university. That's our auditorium, capacity of 2,500 people in a single go. These are our laboratories, computer lab that you're seeing on your screen. Libraries, fully automated libraries. Each department has its own library. This is the central library that we have got in the university. At the, at the heart of the university, it's a 600 acre campus situated on National Highway number 44, uh, running from uh, Amritsar to Delhi. So we are uh, just on uh, the highway number 44. And at the heart of the campus, 600 acre campus, we have the, got this beautiful mall. Let's go inside the mall. These are the interiors of the mall. It's got stores where students can purchase their stuff. It houses uh, gymnasiums with the uh, trainers of repute. It houses bowling alleys and other recreational facilities. We are even having a hospital within the campus. God forbid any student falls ill, but if somebody falls ill, we are ready with a hospital. It's a 25 bed hospital that we have got with resident doctors, medical staff, even a dental chair to the student's disposal. Uh, that's a that's a uh, that's an outdoor uh, auditorium that we have got. That's a panoramic view of the university. We are a very lush green and a very clean university. A few years back, we were awarded as uh, the top uh, cleanest campuses in India amongst the top ten. Uh, this is the sporting infrastructure of the university. If you're a sports freak, well, LPU offers you all the facilities that you uh, would desire. Uh, we have got all uh, seasons swimming pool with us. Olympic size, and we have got shooting ranges. You name a court, you get it. Basketball, badminton, volleyball, cricket pitches, hockey pitches, and so on and so forth. Fourth, and uh, we even have a squash court. So that's that's an aerial view of the uh, sports complex that we have got at uh, LPU. It's it's a very uh, it's a campus which uh, has a lot of. Uh, residential facility, a lot of people staying in the campus, more than 25, 22, 23,000 students can be accommodated in the university. Uh, talking about another aspect of uh, the university, we are also providing a, a thing called a study grant. This is a very generic thing, which I must tell you, let's say somebody wants to do a BTEC program, that's this more of a corporate social responsibility that LP does that uh, there's, a, there's a student who wants to do, say, the BTEC program or an MBA program, then uh, the student uh, clears our LPNIST exam, which is our national level exam, and uh, the, the national level exam at the central level, which is, say, a CAT or uh, maybe a JWE exam, and uh, qualifies to join maybe an IIT or an IIM. And in the bargain, the person also cleared LPNIST exam. So 
to study in that IIM or IIT, LP pays the student one lakh rupees. This is a study grant that uh, we give to the student. Uh, since he has appeared both for our exam and has cleared the national level exam. So we facilitate one lakh rupees for the student. So uh, that's all about uh, uh, the infrastructure and things like that. A student can obviously visit our website and uh, go to our website and check out the various programs and eligibility criteria. Uh, the student needs to go to lpu.in go to the admissions section. And if the students who want to check out programs after 12th can go to this section. For uh, post-graduation, they can go to the parallel section. So let's say if I talk about after 12th programs, after 12th programs, I want to search some programs related to physical education. So after 12th, I go to regular programs. And once I go to regular programs, it'll take me to the next page which will give me an array of disciplines that we are offering at LPU. So say I go in for physical education programs, it gives me all the programs that are there and I click it and it shows me the program. Say I want to search for BSc healthcare and physical education. So I click it over here and I just scroll down a little bit. It gives me the eligibility criteria, say pass in 12th or equivalent subject to qualifying LPU PET. That's an entrance exam that's mandatory for physical education programs. A person can check out the fee details over here on the slider. So you can just click on the fee details and you go downstairs and uh, the fee for the program is 50,000, but there are a lot of scholarships available. If student has 80 to 89% uh, marks in 12th, then there's a 30 percent scholarship fee goes down to this much. If you have 90 to 94.99, the fee goes down to this much. If you, somebody has got 95 or above, the fee goes down to this much. You can also write our alpinist exam. Somebody's in category three, once again, 30 percent category two, 35 percent category one, 40 percent fee goes down to this much. And it's worth mentioning that a scholarship once got remains the same way throughout the program. Similarly, you can check out what are the different kind of scholarships that are being offered in this particular program. All you need to do is go to the adjacent tab, which is scholarships, click it, and you go down. And these are the multiple scholarships that we are offering, like scholarships on the basis of marks in qualifying exam, scholarship on the basis of LPNEST, other scholarships, what are the other scholarships, entrepreneurship, somebody's done good in sports, we have scholarships for that, board toppers, we've got scholarships for that as well and some other financial aid people from humble background are also provided scholarships or fee waivers in this particular case. So I guess my the information uh, provided uh, from my side would be handy for the students and uh, it will be helpful for the students. The students who are watching this broadcast can also jot down our phone numbers, can also jot down our email addresses which will be shortly broadcast on your screen. And you can call us. Our uh, uh, helpline numbers will always be available uh, nine to five uh, to the students. And uh, they, can, uh, uh, they, can, they can ask their queries. For, for example, our number is uh, 018245170000. Or you can write to us on admissions at the rate lpu.co.in and we'll be back with, your, uh, with the answers to your queries. I guess that's all from my side. Back to you, ma'am. Thank you so very much, sir, for such an insightful presentation that you have. Um, there are, again, uh, certain questions that we have received from all the attendees. So uh, we are just going to take one or two of them, uh, right? And because we have already covered some of the questions and answers. So I think this question goes to Pankat, sir. So uh, there is a student named Shristi. Uh, uh, she has asked the question that uh, what are the residential facilities at lovely professional university and what is the process admission process uh, of joining LPU before you know the 12th board exam has been declared okay well that's a very good question uh, as far as the residential facility is uh, concerned 
Uh, the residential facility, we have got ample lot of residential facility because we understand that uh, we have got students from all the, all the states of India and we have got students from 50 countries across uh, the world. So we understand that uh, residential facility or the hostel facilities of prime importance. So we've got multiple uh, types of uh, residential facilities. A student can go in for a uh, a single seater room, which is uh, a single uh, a person can stay alone in a room, or they would be a double sharing or a triple sharing or a four sharing room. And this can be available both in AC and non AC venation. You can go in for an AC room, you can go for a non AC room, and uh, you can uh, select any one of them. Say, let's take an example if somebody wants to go in for a four seater non AC, which is the most important uh, prominent class of rooms that a student can go in for. For that, uh, the Annual charges as of now is 80,000 per academic year. And uh, a student can also go in for the mess facility. We have got beautiful mess facility, clean, hygienic mess facility. So uh, students can go in for uh, the uh, hostel facility. Along with that, we've got the mess facility. We even got the gymnasium, swimming pool. Everything is available for the students. Worth mentioning, boys and girls hostels are absolutely separate. The residential facility for boys and girls are completely separate, but they are within the 600 acres vicinity of the campus. So it's absolutely secured. The, the, uh, we, have, we have got almost like 400, uh, 400 plus guards who man the campus 24 by seven, 365 days uh, and year. So it's a very secure and it's, it's a very uh, campus, which is a city by itself. So once you come, you get to know, we will like to uh, invite all the people who are watching this particular broadcast to come and explore the university for themselves and check out whatever we are saying is absolutely spot on. As far as admissions are concerned, uh, the admissions uh, for uh, various programs, it depends what program you want to go in for. There are a few programs in which a prior test is compulsory. So you need to write the test and then you can uh, take admission. For example, if I talk about physical education program, you need to take the uh, the LPUPET exam, which is the lovely professional university uh, physical education uh, test, but you can enroll yourself. You can register yourself by paying a meager amount of 15,000 rupees. You can enroll yourself. You can take admission, but uh, maybe later on you have to clear the uh, LP pet exam as per your convenience there are multiple schedules of that particular thing but only once you clear that particular thing you'll be able to get your provisional admission into a confirmed admission once you have done your admission thereafter you can book your hostel facility whatever is uh, conducive for you and you can book your residential facility along with that you can book the mess facility laundry facilities there are n number of facilities that we are offering to our students Thank you so much, sir. I hope, Shristi, that answers your question. Uh, that is uh, one more question, and this is probably the last question we are going to take for the day. And again, this one is for uh, Pankat, sir. So uh, there is a student named uh, Amrish. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. So uh, the question is, um, I am a 12th board uh, student and what other skills besides academics I need to equip myself with in order to get better placement opportunities? Well, the skills would be given by us. You don't worry. The skills would be given by us. You come to us. You come to us. Render yourself to us. We'll give you the skills. But... Yes, uh, a few things that we would desire from your side is that uh, uh, work hard, work hard, work on your subject knowledge. Uh, there are two or three basic things which are basically required for uh, getting placements. Number one is are the academic scores. If your academic scores during your course are good, then obviously you are eligible to participate in the, uh, in, in, uh, the placement drives. And uh, obviously, uh, people with good academic scores are obviously preferred and even the companies would look at you in a very good way. So academic scores matters. Number two, academic, apart from academic scores, the other thing which is very important is your knowledge, your subject knowledge. Your subject knowledge should be really good because uh, 
uh, you'll be undergoing tests, screening tests, interviews, and things like that. So you have to prove your subject knowledge. So if your academic scores are good, your subject knowledge is good, then the third thing which comes, which is very important these days, and that is your uh, the, the way you express yourself. I won't say communication skills, but it was an overall thing, which is how do you express yourself? It is both verbally and it's more, uh, it's also uh, in a written format. So how do you basically express your mind that, uh, that, that plays a very important part. So if your academic scores are good, your subject knowledge is good and you can really express yourself well, there's no stopping you getting pla being placed and placed at a very, very good place. Well, thank you so much, sir. I hope that answers your question. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are almost coming to the end of this session. And I just want to say thank you to all the speakers of the day, Dr. Pavitar, uh, Dr. Neelam, Pankat, sir. Very thank you to all of you, your years of research, your depth of understanding the topic and your ability to present the topic in such an interesting way uh, led to attendees having one of the most wonderful sessions and on behalf of all the attendees I want to say thank you and hopefully the attendees also enjoyed this webinar and I think the information provided helped them uh, taking better admission and I'm also uh, very obliged and thanks to all the attendees for joining this session and I am your host I'll see you guys soon in the next webinar till that time take care have a lovely day thank you Thank you. Thank you. All. Thank you very Happy much. Happy career. God bless you.